Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles, where we have got some affinity missions to new, to, to, to new, uh, yes, to new. We we've got to new them, but no, we've also got to do them. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get Nagi on board here because I've noticed that we can do the vast majority of affinity missions here in the Blade Barracks right now, and. Not a one of them requires us to, well, the one that we can't do, the only one we can't do right now, is the only one to require us to not have Nagi. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab him. Cause we gotta make him like us too, you know? Need my help? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, sounds good. Shall we? Uh huh. So he is level thirty-three, which puts him not far behind Elma, but his uh, class rank is very low. Very, very low. So we're gonna clearly have to baby him a little bit. And thankfully, we can at least give him a skill. So, he won't be completely worthless. Okay. So, let's get started by uh, doing that whole skill giving thing. Irina, your skill is being... Requisitioned. There. Now we all have skills. Wait a sec, what class is he? Oh, I also need to give Elma a skill. No, um... Active members. Okay, he's a duelist. I, for a moment, was thinking he might be a shield trooper like Lin, considering that they are currently using the uh, same model of weapon. Anyway, to the hangar once more, because we need to get Elma a skill. Doug, you are now sacrificing your skill, and Elma's up there. There we go. So now, yeah, there's two affinity missions up here that we can do. And this right here is the one we can't do, provided I can... Oh, no, wait. No, that's not the one. Uh, this one is the one we can't do, I think, because I don't think Irina likes us enough yet. Let's just check real quick. Uh, it's in, no, it's not in social. It's affinity chart. I'm stupid. Uh, Irina, where are you? You are down here. Yeah, she does not like us enough yet. So let's grab this one. Why not? Primary destination of Noctilum. We have visitor. Do we? Well, it isn't every day the Director General stops by for a visit. I'm a busy man, I fear. But something's come up that I'd like your team to handle. Is that so? Stuffy suit came to the right place. Make request and Tatsu will see what he can do. Shut up, Tatsu. Right. You're well. I'd like to propose we enhance our surveillance of the ganglia. Is there something you're expecting to find? We've had a string of unusual reports lately. Mm -hmm. There have been rumors that the ganglion are fighting amongst themselves. Ooh. Power struggles? With all those species working together, I imagine they've no shortage of infighting. Which is precisely what we want to exploit. Hence, for intent. And why I'd like you to focus on expanding Frontier now, for now. 
Oh, it's expanded. We'll take it on as a formal request from you. I'm pretty sure this is done. What do you know? We did it. Time to go to Blade Tower. This might end up being an even easier affinity mission than the last. We'll just have to see, won't we? How much of the planet have I surveyed? Oh, 50%. 50.96%. I do believe that beats the 20 they wanted. Oh. Fascinating. Find something useful? All intelligence is useful, Colonel. It's just a matter of finding the best lens to view it through. Wow, that's deep, sir. If I'm not mistaken, you fought against a Rothian squadron before, yes? Yep. Rothian? Tatsu hear that name They're some the kitties. before. They were a proud and fierce people. Describes Tatsu perfectly. Is friend sure they're not thinking of Tatsu? Positive. Hmm. When did we fight folks like Tatsu? Come on, Never. we fought them in Silvalum, remember? Oh, right! Tatsu remember now. Kitty cat people, right? We've analyzed frontier nav records for evidence of ganglion infighting. Every instance has involved Rothy fighting against one race or another. Mm. This is more than just a few simple disagreements. We believe they've broken ties with the ganglion entirely. And on less than amicable terms. Yeah. I, I, I had a pretty good idea that this right here is probably where this was going. Left the ganglion, that might be a possibility. Their motives certainly seem different enough. If their values align with ours, as we often said on Earth, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I expect an alliance with the Rothians would prove beneficial for both of us. Agreed. Even beyond the practical merits, it just makes sense for us to try to make as many friends as possible. Which brings me to your next mission. I need you to travel to the site for the latest flash and gather data. Yes, sir. Okay, so this isn't going to be the truly easiest ever affinity mission. We actually do have to go afield. At least a little bit. We are raking in a good amount of credits. Just from having mined out so much stuff that... It's, uh, it's getting converted to credits. Of course, I really should have known that this would send us a field, considering it said the primary location was Noctulum. So. Hello. There's a treasure box behind. Looks biological. Is it four? It is. Can't do that quite yet. We're getting closer, but not yet. Well, I, I guess we don't even have to land. That's right. We've located a Rothian skell. It seems mostly undamaged. No, no pilot in sight. It's unclear if they abandoned the skell or were killed. What about the data unit? Intact, as far as I can see. Excellent. Please bring it back with you. Also, a sample of the plating and any weaponry you can manage. 
We'll do what we can. Ready for a little manual labor? Sure. Are you kidding? I can't wait to get this stuff home to analyze it. Hmm. I suppose an explanation's in order. Hmm? Huh? About what? About this mission. Or about his intentions, at least. You mean the Director General? Right. Uh-oh. Is he up to something? Well, no point in hiding it, I suppose. I can't be certain, but if I had to venture a guess, I'd assume this is all just insurance in case an alliance falls through. You mean, we're gathering this data to make fighting the Rothians easier? Oh, I'm sure diplomatic talks will come first. And even if we can't secure a friendship, that doesn't mean we have to fight. But it's always good to prepare for the worst possible scenario. Especially if you're the man responsible for the safety of all of New L.A. Yeah, seems well, sound. I hope the Alliance can work out. As do I, Lynn. For now, let's get back to work. Apparently, we have been automatically lowered in altitude. Oh, I don't even have to mash buttons. There are a lot of Rothian skells around here, and they only want parts from three of them? Like, the search area is huge, and I can see... Like, several. But whatever. I also see a level 47 tyrant here that does not look to be too terribly large, so... I think I'll give it a piece of my mind. Oh, it's a... it's a piggy. So, let's just... say hello. Hooray. Strength comes from experience. That's true on any planet. Alright, let's go grab a piece off of this Rothian skill. And be done with that. Excellent. Back to Blade Tower. Go. Hopefully this unlocks another arms manufacturer for us to dump our Moranium into. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I pointed it out. At one point between episodes, uh, I dramatically increased my Moranium production and cap by just completely re-outfitting almost all of Mira. Now basically the entirety of Noctilum is just my Moranium storage facility. Kinda, kinda silly to think about, but whatever. I received your report. Good work collecting those samples. I'm just sorry we weren't able to get more. We'll take what we can get. You have my thanks. They're an exceptionally proud people. If we can forge an alliance, I'm certain they'll be friends we can trust. I'll remember that. And should the day come, I'd like you to serve as ambassador. Ooh. My pleasure. As long as you don't send me there to declare war. Perish the thought. The fewer enemies we have, the easier my job is. Oh, is, is that it? We're not going to go actually talk to them?
Oh, that adds another mission in the Blade Barracks. And I bet that mission involves the actual talking to of them. And it's one that we can take right now, so let's do that. Because I would kind of like to see this work pay off. Or at least what little work it's been. Oh. Well, I guess we gotta complete chapter 10 before that. That's fine. We can just come on over here and do the other affinity mission. Or, no, it's down there. So let's do, oh. That requires an even later one. Okay, I guess I wasn't looking at the requirements carefully enough. So, let's find some other affinity mission that we can do. I'll go ahead and spare you guys the looking. So, fast forwarding here. Back in a flash. Okay, I'll be honest. I didn't really fast forward that much. Uh, this was literally the first one I checked. As I remember it existed, and it is required in order to even start the next story chapter, so I figure uh, now is probably a pretty good time to get it out of the way, so let's do it. Ah, look who's here. Perfect timing. Turns out I've got a mission that's right up your alley. Have you? In other words, something dangerous? See? You're perfect for it. Now then. Remember the night the ganglion hit us? Yeah. Your team took on a pair of Xenos. Real bad apples. A big old lug and one nasty little lady. Mm-hmm. Dagon and Rees, I think it was. There's no forgetting those two. Yep, that's them. We just got word they've been spotted skulking around Noctua. Ooh. Could they be planning another attack? That or who knows what. Whatever they're up to, I can tell you. It ain't gonna be good for us. Muscle man not worry his mustache hair is gray. Team Tatsu is on the case. Right. Those two are no pushovers. We fought them once and we beat them once. We're the best choice to take this on. We'll leave immediately. Thanks, Colonel. So Tatsu called him mustache or uh, muscle man instead of mustache man. What's the deal there, Tatsu? Why are you being inconsistent all of a sudden? I don't want to listen. Alright, heading back to Noctilum. Different part this time. Turning around, taking flight. Oh, hang on. There is a treasure box hereabouts. Looks mechanical. Sure is. Well, that was simple. I probably got scared off by these level 30 things. Yeah, that's probably why. Okay. So, we are where we're supposed to be. I guess just gotta drop down here. Yep. It's still smoking. Bad guys, campfire. The residual heat signatures confirm it. This fire was active until just recently. It's strange. A campfire doesn't strike me as their style. Could this be a trap? Sure. Heard something. Someone's coming. Everyone, hide! Looks like we're too late. Damn it. Those two could be anywhere. Come on! That guy's the size of a mech. There can't be that many places for him to hide. Whatever. We'd better report to the captain. 
Soldiers definitely ganglion. Alma, did you hear that? Guys the size of a mech. And they're looking for a pair. But why would Dagon and Rees... I mean, they're ganglion too, right? Maybe they deserted after bitter defeat courtesy of Tatsu. Courtesy of who? Still, it does sound like they're after our targets. Everything we've heard seems to point that way. Maybe we should shake those two down for intel. See what they know. What do you think? Hmm. Well, they don't seem to know where they are. But, I mean, they might know what's going on. So, sure. All right. We should be able to handle a couple of grunts easily enough. Let's see what we can find out. Do let's. Yeah, that'll be easy. Really? Who stepped on a thing without us even really moving? Eh, there's the thing you stepped on. There. Oh, there's another one. Okay. You know what? Exit your skills, please. Alright, so I was quiet there for a moment because freaking the third plane to fly overhead in the last 20 minutes just flew overhead. But I was very loudly wondering, uh, at least in my head, not aloud, I, I was I was very loudly thinking uh, how the hell someone managed to pull an enemy that was that far away from them. But whatever. Let's deal with these Marnocks. There goes one. Uh, I will admit it's a little unpleasant being unable to really break parts on my own without using my ranged attacks. But I can't really argue with my results in terms of damage output here. I may get rid of Core Crusher at some point, but we'll it's see. No use. Now then, who are you chasing and why? We'll never talk, human scum. I don't think you understand. This isn't a request. <sighs> Target sighted. All units rally at point four nine. You hear that? Let's move. What should we do about these two? Knock them out and leave them. Uh, I hope you don't mind my asking, but how do we know where point four nine is? I feel like that's an important question to ask. But whatever, I, I guess we just happen to know it. Glad we, glad we understand ganglion, ganglion uh, codes. Should really uh, give a medal to whoever the hell figured those out. So it looks like point four nine is in this cave. Hey, look. Pair after all. Yeah, but who are they? 
A very good question. Humans? What are they doing here? Who cares? Wipe them out. Uh -oh. Looks like we have no choice. Bye, Tatsu. Gotta say, it felt really nice seeing all those numbers there just now. Even though it wasn't too much damage, all told, there were lots of numbers. Yeah, I get some pretty crazy damage out of my stuff that initiates melee combos. So, yeah, I'm not really regretting Core Crusher too much at the moment. So, like, if we do that, and then we follow up with that, we get damage. So, uh, you just gonna stand there, lady? Stand there and, uh, look at this? It's actually kind of nice being able to heal my allies. There we go. Oh, hey, she's gone. And so is her big friend. I'm sorry if we frightened you. My name is Elma, and you are? Are we correct in assuming that the Ganglion are after you? If so, we might be able to help. We come from a planet called Earth, but now we're fighting the Ganglion here on Mira. Really? Pay them no heed, Rock. But Celica, they just beat up those bad guys. It matters not. I shall not be fooled again. Well, either way, it's not safe here. Um, I just gotta say, Rock's voice does not match his size and stature and build. Yeah. Don't flatter us with your hollow kindness. Who says it's hollow? Listen, I understand that it may be hard for you to trust a random pack of strangers. But we really do want to help if we can. I hope you can believe us. Come on, Celica. They seem all right, don't they? Perhaps, but... Tatsu, pleased to make acquaintance of new friend Celica. And you are... a Nopon? Indeed. Have I been pronouncing it wrong the whole time? Save Tatsu from Nasty Ganglion. Just like they saved us. Yes, so if Tatsu is trusting friends, Celica can too. No pawns on it. Okay, no, I haven't. Well, you might say that we're fugitives of a sort. Ones that are running low on hiding places. Our city, New LA, is home to many races besides humans. Both of you would be welcome there. There's no pressure, of course. You can stay or leave as you see fit. Thank you. That is most kind. My name is Selena. And I'm Rock. Nice to meet you. I'm Lynn. Here, these are the coordinates for New LA. Can you get there okay? I believe the two of us can manage, yes. Then we'll see you back home. Take care, you two! So, we have yet another case of the, uh voice actors not receiving the best direction because we had two different pronunciations of nopon there in the same conversation generally what you want to have is at least one consistent pronunciation but apparently we just don't get that so I guess we're going to the industrial district now.
And then over here. And there they are. so far it's rather overwhelming to be honest but rock seems quite content so we'd like to stay if that's permissible of course and whatever you need just let us know okay anytime Selica have a problem team Tatsu have the solution you have our gratitude all right Oh, hey, there's a new affinity mission right here that we should be able to get started on. Hey, you hear? So let's start it and then end the episode. I'm sorry, but my answer must remain no. I still don't see how this is asking too much, considering what we've done. You must understand. We know that Rock is being pursued by the gangly. And yet we offered him asylum here in NLA nonetheless. Don't you see? In doing so, we have increased the odds of our city coming under attack. Your people were in a state of war with the Ganglion long before we arrived. That is correct. Which is precisely why I'm proposing we unite against them. We don't ask him to fight alone, merely that he lends his strength to ours. Does that request seem so unreasonable? A being like Rock would be a great asset in the field. It would be a shame to see that go to waste. Are you making deals here, or threats? Hey, everybody. I simply propose a mutually beneficial agreement. I do not appreciate your characterizing it as a threat. Yeah. Yeah, Rock doesn't want to fight. And I respect his right to choose. He is welcome to refuse to contribute to this city and then leave it. That's horrible. And that's a threat. Truly, but it is all right. What do you mean? Rock and I shall discuss the matter and come to a decision shortly. Is that satisfactory? Of course. I do hope you can both see reason in this matter. Don't worry about him. We have plenty of non-combatants around here. Blade membership is entirely voluntary. But I feel terrible for not fighting when I'm so big. It's just selfish, you know? It's not selfish, Rock. You are a kind and beautiful soul. Never be ashamed for choosing peace. Pretty lady is correct. Tatsu not fight once in whole life, and Tatsu never feels shame. You really Thanks. should. I think. Right here. Don't you worry about a thing. Just give me a little time. Okay. So I guess our mission is to stalk her. Well then, we'll do that next time. See you then, friends.